It should be here, though. I've, maybe we have to dig deeper. Oh! Oh! Boys, we found something. We found something. What is it going to be? Oh, I think I already know what it is. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, that's sad, man. I mean, so much work, and it's now gone. But god, I made some thick stacks. I actually doubled my starting budget, so that would be cool. So let's actually do another offer. Let's open up our computer and let's see if we got any more restoration projects waiting for us. Alright, boys, here we go. Uh, all contact, let's see. Oh, actually, I want to try this one. We have found a tank. Okay, it's from Greg to Leopard. We have found a tank. Hey, we have run into information that there is a tank ready to be extracted. Are you interested? Potential money, zero dollars, reputation, ten. Ah, uh, I mean, it will be epic, man. I mean, it would be absolutely epic, but I won't make any money of this. Uh, okay, let's accept it. Screw it. Let's just go. So we've accepted the offer. And now it looks like we can start extracting. Let's go, boys. So let's go to the extraction site. And I guess there is an abandoned tank here. So let's see if we can find it. I'm curious which one is going to be. Or if there's actually a tank there. Uh, what's it going to be? That's a big question. Is there even going to be anything? That's the main question. Is it even going to load? That's the third question. There we go. All right. We've managed to make our way to the extraction site right here. So let's get into the vehicle and let's go to the extraction points. Oh, there we go. It was E. Okay. There we go. We're moving, boys. Let's see where this extraction point is. In the middle of nowhere and somewhere in Russia, I believe this is. All right, so it should be to my right here somewhere. Let's see if you can actually get close here. Okay, let's check the tablets. Oh, it's literally right there. It's down the road. Take a right and I should approach it. All right. Let's see if we can find some juicy tank hidden in the ground. Ah, looks like we found something. Alright, so in this circle, there should be a tank discovered. Alright, let's stop the engine. Let's get out. Alright, so I think I have to get my mel detector. Ooh, this is sick. This is absolutely sick. Alright, let's see if we can find something that's metal. Nothing so far. I should go to the middle. I think it's most of the times in the middle. Oh. Oh, I think we got something, boys. Alright, so this is very convenient. That's literally in the middle. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna get my shovel. Let's start digging, see if we can find something. Let's get the shovel. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. I want to dig up very nice tank. So it's actually very convenient that I was literally in the middle of the circle because now I can literally line up the mini-map and dig right where the metal detector is. Right, boys. Let's hope it's not a coin or anything. Nothing. Okay, let's actually get the metal detector out of the way. Wait, where is the signal again? It should be here, though. I've, maybe we have to dig deeper. Oh! Oh! Boys, we found something. We found something. What is it gonna be? Oh, I think I already know what it is. Oh, this is awesome. Keep digging, boy. I think I already know what it is. It's a bloody tiger. That's insane. Oh, God. Wow, what a jackpot, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew this, but literally... Even finding a tiger nowadays, it, they're worth so much money because the Nazis literally destroyed them all when they were about to lose the the war, so. Oh boy, yeah, we definitely found a tiger here. Let's try and dig around here. It's actually going to take ages to actually dig it fully out by hand. But this is definitely a tiger. Okay, um, 
Excavate tank. Return to the laptop and call the excavation crew to extract the tank. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. See if I can do this now. Here we go. You've selected the area to start excavation. Do you wish to continue? It's free. Oh, hell yeah. Especially if it's free. Let's go. Let's go. We have found something. Oh, heck. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's some professional shit there. Oh, look at that. It's completely, like, barricaded and stuff. Uh, what's that? We also got lights. That's cool. Okay, so let's turn them on in case it gets dark. Look at that. Look at this beauty, boys. Oh, my God. Isn't this bloodyful? Isn't this bloodyful? Okay, so what do I have to do now? Use a pressure washer. Do I have a pressure washer? I think that's a pressure washer. Heck yes. The pressure washer allows you to clean the tank from mud and dirt. Alright. Seems to be a piece of cake. Ah, uh, look at that. I can see the rust already. By the way, this actually is still a pretty complete tiger. I guess. Not too many parts are missing. Oh, never mind. It's missing the entire track piece. Let's fully clean this bad boy from the mud. So it should be at least 30% clean in order to transport it. That's 30%. All right. So uh, let's drop the pressure washer. Let's hook this bad boy in. God, I'm excited to actually work on this thing. Uh, tank on trailer. Let's go. Where it is. Where did my baby go? Baby, where you at? Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Look at my baby. Ready to go to my shop. Isn't, isn't, isn't she beautiful, guys? Let's do it, boys. Let's bring Papa Tiger home. All right, look at that. Oh, isn't she, isn't she beautiful, guys? Isn't she hella beautiful? All right, the, this this can actually be a whole lot of money if this gets fully restored. Let's let's do it, boys. Let's start of it. Okay, let's first actually hook on the turret here. Damn, that's an entire mechanism in there. All right, so I guess the tiger is actually a lot more complicated than the KV one. Uh, okay, let's actually pop off the the engine hood. See how much is left of the engine. I hope it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Oops, let's go in disassembly mode. What can I disassemble? The fastening. Okay, it's gonna take the air filter out, the engine cover. Yo, this tiger is hella complete, by the way. I mean, if they found a tiger this complete in real life, it would be worth a fortune. I can already tell. But that's why it's just a game. Wow, this thing is way more complicated than the KV-1. Holy heck. I guess that's some German engineering there, boys. Mm, yeah, let's get the engine out. I think that was it. Put the engine on there. Oh, the engine's actually a lot smaller than the KV-1s. Or there are just a lot more parts missing. I don't know the two could work. I guess it's the second one, sadly. Alright, stick the radiator out. Stick the exhaust out. It's also missing an exhaust. Ooh, that's not good. That's going to be expensive, man. Transmission shaft... Torsion bars. I think the torsion bars can stay. Yeah, I think I can reach those easily. Ammo hatches. Take them all out. So, let's repeat the process. Let's first uh, clean out the engine. Because, oh boy, this is a rusty old boy. Wow, oh, this engine is also a whole lot more complicated. It even has separate bolts going. Uh, what, what the hell? It even has just separate bolts holding everything into place. That's some real dedication to detail there. So it looks like we've come to the bare bones of the engine. All right, let's repeat the process, boy. Let's get the rust removal. Let's remove some rust. Et voila! Now let's remove the rust on this thing. Sandblast it, and then that should be the engine fully restored. 
double check real quickly. Uh, tank status, analysis. Oof, still missing 5%. What are we missing? What are we missing? Uh, assembly modes. Everything is assembled though. So I think I missed something with the rust remover. Oh wait, I did actually. Oh, I knew it is. It's the dipstick. God damn dipstick always. Yeah. All right. The Tiger engine is now fully operational. At least I hope. At least it's complete and it's rust free. That's all that matters. All right. So let's move on to the tank itself. Or should we do the turret first? No, we're going to do the tank first this time. All right, so let's clear this tank from rust entirely. Alright, there we go. So, um, yeah, I think if I assemble it any further, I can't actually reach these parts anymore. So, I'm just going to sandblast everything right now, and then I'm going to uh, further assemble the transmission. I guess that makes sense. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see what I'm going to do. It looks like I'm going to do it. Let's move on to Mr. Sandblast. There you go. You're going to do it. Oh, yeah, we got a shiny message. It's not a message. What's the default? It's a little bit. 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 I mean, I think in terms of the look of how complete this actually is, considering it's a pretty saga. Make sure you don't forget any of those. Here we go, here we go. Some of the gods. Yeah, they're all good. Let's check the other side, just make sure. It's all good. Read these things. Before I begin. Yeah, it was all good. Very nice. Now let's do the top of the inside. And we should be good. Explosion powers. So I can't crouch. The ammo patches. Hey, look at that. Look at that here. It doesn't look like this. Nah, pretty cool. Yep, it's all done. It's all done. Anything in front? Nope. Ah, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, now this is all sanded down. Um, it's time to reassemble the transmission and give it a proper rust and sand as well. I mean, anti-rust and cell. Cell, sand, dang it. Et voila, all right, let's enter assembly mode and let's assemble the transmission, yay. Now we can get the rest of this thing de-rusted. Uh, <laughs> but luckily I've got all the caps. Hell yeah. Alright, so that's it for now. Let's rust these. There you go. Oh. Don't forget the caps, the caps are important. Yeah, should be this. Now let's assemble. Um okay, so we're missing some parts here. We're missing some fans and an exhaust. Fans, exhaust. Okay, so we need one fan and one exhaust, and then we can safely cover this up. Uh, one fan, one exhaust. Wait, now it's this one. Let's assemble this boy. Whoops. Let's put the exos in. Done. Very nice. All right. So let's uh, assemble these boys. And that should all be good. 
Oh wait, crap, before I do this. Uh, whoops, let's go to disassemble mode, get this off again. We first need to place my uh, engine. Let's see, just place back the engine. Et voila. Welcome back, Mr. Engine. Let's make sure I don't forget anything. That all looks good. No important parts missing. Very nice. Now we can get these things back on. Oh, ah, just about to say, do I have all the covers? I don't have all the covers. Uh, fan air, wait, fan air vent cover. Got the air filter here. The fastening. Let's get the ropes back on. Fuel tank caps, of course, not to forget. And the tow rope. Okay, so we need a, what's it called again? Fan air vent cover. Let's see, fan air vent cover. Check out. So that should complete the rear part of this thingy. Ah, of course, we also need an air filter. God dang it. Why can't it be easy? Let's see. Air filter. Oof, this is gonna be an expensive project, boys. It's gonna be a very expensive project, but it's gonna be worth it. There we go, some fastening. We also don't have a fastening, god dang it. Let's get the fastening. Whoops. Fastening. Luckily it's a cheap part. <coughs> There we go, all done. Now let's get some rust removing. Wabam! Very nice! So now the turret is free of rust. Oh, this tiger is going to be so beautiful. I can already tell. Wow, this tiger even came with the MG. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a find. Gun interior mat, but I think I forgot this one. Whoops. Ah, dang it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So I think that should be all in the turrets. No, I forgot this one. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the turret is fully sanded down and fully assembled. So let's give it a nice coat of paint primer. So I'm actually first going to finish off the turret and then I'm going to finish off the hull. Since the turret is a bit easier to do. Here we go. There we go. Well, bam. Wait, did I forget these? Really? There's a freaking outer sleeve cover? Wow. Talking about splitting up parts, Jesus Christ. This tiger is really made out of a whole lot of parts. It's way too complicated, actually. 
There you go. Cheek little bugger. No one escapes me. Hella no one. There we go. Give all a nice red primer. Very nice indeed. Whoops. Can't forget the vision. Is there also vision on this side that I'm missing somehow? Yes, there is. Oh, that's CMG. Never mind. From there. Ho ho! I spot every single part. No part will get forgotten by me, except the dipsticks, indeed. But the dipsticks are special. They have special ability to avoid me. So everything except the dipsticks, I will not forget. Et voila! That's the primer done. Let's now switch to the real paint. So a quick little check that I didn't forget anything. It doesn't look like it, so let's give it a nice paint job. Let's see what the standard paint is. Ah, it is indeed the desert one. That's sweet. To be fair, I really like the desert paint of the tiger. It's really unique, actually. An MG firing pedal. Wow. Okay, and now the turret should be 100% complete. Right? There we go. Alright, boys. So the turret is fully restored. Very nice. Never mind, it's not fully restored. We still forgot this thing. And now it's fully restored. Ah, so proud of it. Alright, so let's now move to the big boy. The hole right here. <laughs> All right, so now I'm pretty sure that all the primer is on. So, uh, next part is, I guess, ordering the spare materials that we're missing. Yes, I'm this one. Oh, yes, nice. Right, so that way as well. 
So now we only need to coat this thing with a fresh layer of paint and then we are all done. So let's do that. Oh, 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 oh boy, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess the moment is finally here. Let's put the turret on this bad boy. Oh, <laughs> isn't that one hell of a sexy tank? Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Take a look at that. Just imagine, like, one hour ago, how this piece of garbage looked and how it looks now. Oh boy, indeed, it looks hella sick. I'm so proud of it. Look at that. 
Let's give this epic sexy tiger a paint job. I finally figured out how to do it. All right, let's open the paint room. Oh boy, here we go. Let's move this bad boy in. Let's move this bad boy in. Uh, nope, not assembly modes. Click move tank to the paint room. Oh boy, it's ready to get a fresh coat of paint. Let's close the doors because you don't want to get the workshop all painted and stuff. All right. Let's see. Paint room panel. Let's see. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Oh my god. We can actually make a very nice customized version of it. Very nice. Okay. Uh, how do we move this around? Oh, that's sick, man. We can actually... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> See guys, this is exactly why I didn't want to paint this tank pink. Look how fucking hideous it looks. <laughs> nah, that's not happening. That is definitely not happening. This is a disgrace to, to every German people that fought in the war. What the hell? Let's see. Oh, you have camel patterns. Oh wait, that's sick. No? We can actually... Oh, that's sick, man. That's actually pretty customizable. I love it. We get, oh, I think this is a sick color. Like this grayish tone, gray brownish. I think that looks cool. I'm happy with this. Apply. Apply. And go back. Oh, wow. Look at that. If that isn't a hell of a sexy tank, I don't know what is. All right, let's get him out of the paint room. Let's get this bad boy outside. Let's see. Click, move tank. To the yard. Let's go, boys. All right, boys. So here we are. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. It's so sexy. It is so hella sexy. Look at that. All right, boys. The moment of truth. Will it start? Will it run? Did we assemble the engine correctly? Did we assemble the transmission correctly? Because if we didn't, this thing just might blow to pieces. All right. Uh, let's see. Test drive, fluid menu, let's fill it up with some oil. And yeah, there's a lot of oil in there, by the way. There we go, that's filled. Now let's fill it up with uh, cooling fluids. Some coolant. Here we go. Wabam. And last but not least, let's put some fuel in it. Otherwise, it won't run at all. Yo, there's a lot of fuel in here, by the way. Hell. Alright, boys. Here we go. It's fueled up. It has some cooling liquid in it. And it has some oil in the engine. Let's, uh, let's crank it up. See if it starts. Oh boy. Please start. I don't really want to get this thing apart. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Start. 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 Yes, it runs. It starts. It works, guys. We did it. Oh my god. It runs. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about unbolting literally every single ball and taking the edge of the ball again. Oh god. Yes. Yes, it's such a relief that it runs. All right, let's turn off the engine. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, what should we do with this, guys? I, it's too awesome. I actually want to keep it. But then again, I can sell this for really big money. Because a fully functional Tiger, it's got to be worth a fortune. And it's even mine, because I excavated it myself. So I can ask a fortune for this. So, yeah, but we'll see what we're going to do Check with it. Check it up.